right, we are back. We're back, everybody. Hey. Hello. Hope you missed us. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> Hashtag relatable. Hashtag relatable. Yeah, welcome back to this mess. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some stuff going on on your screen. That's all. Nothing bad with that. All right. And we just got our uh, Route 110 encounter. And what we want to do is we, we really want to train a little bit. Um, before we go on and fight May. Now, I know that if I go to the left, we have some trainers that we can fight against there. Another nugget from Miriam. Let's see. Kirby's kind of low. We should really train him up. I'm gonna do a few encounters in the grass before we keep going. Also, the switch up that we have running our shiny hunt. It's going a little too slow, so I figured for the last hour of our stream, I'm going to manually uh, hatch eggs, just to speed it up a little bit. Yeah, hopefully we get a shiny soon. But you guys know how shiny hunting is. Sometimes that it takes forever. Yeah, if we get a shiny in this last hour, man, we might give it away our next stream. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. Yeah. Hope you're hyped, though. Shiny Eevee, Hi. incoming. Charlie, is there a Pokemon you would be interested in uh, with us hunting for a Shiny? Oh. Um, yeah, who's your favorite so far? You got, you got a favorite? Do I have a favorite Pokemon? Yeah, from That's your, a good question. Yeah, from your time with the anime slash so far with the Nuzlocke. I would say Charizard, but I'm pretty sure it's almost impossible to get a shiny Charizard. No, it's, no, it's not. not. No, we could it's do it. It's about the same odds. No, yeah. we could do it easily. So we we have I've... a shiny charm, right? By the way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So our odds are um, our chances are like much higher getting one. Um, but we would <clears> just <throat> do this. We would put them in a daycare. Uh, with a ditto, and then they would just breed more Charmanders, and then we just keep hatching until we get one. We have shiny uh, Charizards in real life. In real life, IRL, yeah, yeah. mine's like chilling in my bedroom right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna heal up, I got pretty paralyzed in that last fight. Is Charizard your answer, Charlie? I think. Because I just like the design of the Charizard. Yeah, so yeah. does Game I think Freak. He's cool. Yeah, so does Game Freak. Honestly, there's like four different versions of Charizard right now. Who's so your favorite Pokemon on our team right now? Ah, uh, Winston. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you gotta let it go. Uh, I want to say um, Wisteria is really carrying the team right now. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Wisteria. Yeah, he, she's not going to be carrying the team on the next gym, though, I can tell you that much. Yeah, buddy. That's right, I'm like switch training and I have XP share, so nobody's getting anything. Electric Gym is the next. Yeah, Electric Gym, yep. It's, um, what's his name? Watson? Mm, nice. Soul Soothing Fragrance. Ooh. Yeah. Daisy. Yeah. Ugh, I want one of those. Charlie, what do you think is strong against electric? Like, what would you use against an electric Pokemon? Water. Against an electric Pokemon? So if you were going to yeah. fight a Pikachu. So going off of my Final Fantasy knowledge, water against an electric type will fucking wreck someone. Because if you use electric electricity on a water, that also will fuck someone up. So if you used elect if you used a toaster in a bathtub, who right. would that fuck up? That would that that would kill you. 
He's... I see what he's saying, but in Pokemon, it doesn't work that way. It's only a one-way thing. So, uh, uh, okay. electric fucks up water. I see what you're saying, and yours makes sense as an RPG thing, but in Pokemon, yeah. that's not how it works. Okay. Okay. Alright, so against an electric type, what would I use if it wasn't water? What fights electricity? Rubber? No, chat, you can't give that away. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Ground types! Well, okay, I would so that, ground. That's my next. You know what? That's my next answer. That's kind of tricky because I don't think you were aware that that, that like ground type is even a type. I was kind of hoping you would be like, "Is this like a th like? Is there some kind of like is mayonnaise earthquake based Pokemon? Yeah. You know, get creative with or it. like, like Geo Dude, right? He's ground yeah. based, right? He's, he's rock. But doesn't he get ground at some point? Does he? Is, I don't know. Is, I could be wrong. Like, I don't Rattler know Pokemon. Or Golem. I feel like I feel like it's rock all around. Basic ass Pokemon. Guard spec. What does guard spec do? He's also ground. Yep. See. Oh, he is. Okay. But you can't get a Golem unless you trade stat reduction when used in battle. Yeah, I'll give it to Wisteria. That'd be nice. Ground type move around level 15. Yeah, yeah. Okay, level 20 ish. Well, we're not using any ground types. Unfortunately, it uh, did not work out for us. Uh. So, we have a grass type, though, which can at least withstand electricity. We used to have two. That's true. <laughs> Once upon a time. This, uh,. Bolden man wants to fight you. Oh, yeah, fight he's him. balding. And he's got a child. What is this? What is this? <laughs> yep. Where'd he get that kid? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking too many questions. I'm gonna need you to Where stop. do I get a kid? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oops. Where do they come Gotta from? Gotta go. <laughs> Charlie, if you ever have questions, I just want you to remember oh, the little picture in the corner of our screen on the top right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that critical hit so much? Oh, Stop it! Oh god. Stop, cat. Are you fucking with me right now, dude? Dude, that cat almost fucked me up. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Am I bugging or is fucking Mary dead, bro? Yeah, I'm <laughs> about to be. Um. No, no, no. Get Myster Wisteria out of there. Yeah, I healed. Oh, okay. You, yeah. I healed. I healed up. Oh, okay. Yeah, followed up with a tail whip. What the fuck is going on? Honestly, I'm gonna go Stampy. Stampy's got higher defense. Did you guys see Kirby's back? Yeah, dude, everybody knows. He's got that little bubble. Eh. <laughs> dude, we can't show Pokemon butthole on Twitch. Yeah, no, TOS. Can't, you can't be showing that Pokemon hole. Yeah, how's it feel? I could have attacked it. <laughs> yeah, you would have a berry. Why is this cat, like, such trouble right now? Why is it so trash? Are you fucking... Oh my god, I gotta get myself a cat. It's settled. They're tank as fuck. God, there's like a boss battle. Boris with the tackle. Now he's useful. A little bit. Eh. Debatable. Yeah. Such pleasant music for me almost getting fucked up. What do you got? Hey, but you won, right? Yeah. And that's all that matters. That's true. That's all that matters. That's why the music's so pleasant. Do you want to fight me? Oh, he's you, so tough. Oh, oh, fuck. Are you oh, okay? Oh. He has to respond to a voicemail that really upset him, and that's why he's walking like <laughs> this. Alright, Kirby, get in there. You're gonna do fine, my guy. Uh, 
Oh, did, did we fight the kids? No, we didn't fight the children yet. I, uh... <laughs> I, um... I will. Fun fact, only female poor chicks have buttholes. No, that's... It's not a butthole. It's a, um... Girls a, don't poop. It's a stray, uh, feather. Girls don't poop, yeah. I actually, I talked about this a little bit on, on Colton's stream, um, uh, through chat, but, uh... Farmers who are like really trained in being able to differentiate the uh, the different genders in chicks when they're like newborn, um, they they're trained to find this like specific feather that's a stray feather. It's like near their rear, and uh, that's how you can tell whether or not it's a male or a female, so that they can separate them early on, and they won't have to like run into any issues of like breeding early. Uh, so that's that's where that one little pixel on Torchic comes from. So. Yeah, Did you, you know that, Charlie? You learn something new every day. What, the, ex the extra feather? Yeah. yeah. No, I did not know that. There's a lot about this that I don't know. Did you? Do you know what a Torchic is? I don't. Do you know what a chicken is? <laughs> I know what a chicken is. Okay, well, she was talking about real-life chickens. Oh. Yeah, I was talking about chicks. Like, real life. I know you, like, blanked out, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting hit from all... Cylinders? Angles. Here. Yeah. Should I fight the children using two of my weaker Pokemon? Yeah, that's true. That is how it happened. It was through selective breeding. That's how we ended up getting uh, stray feathers on chicken butts. There he is. I'm more interested in corgi butts. Hell yeah. All my homies Hell love yeah. corgi butts. <laughs> all my homies, all my homies, they break for, for corgi butts. Honestly, I'm thinking I might at least have like a bulky guy to take on these children. All right, I'm fighting the children. Uh, I believe he did hear something about a certain I corgi think, butt. I think you heard something about a certain canine type of butt. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> oh, this fucking what? battle. They're just gonna use helping hand back and forth. It's alright. Well, Kirby, I'm gonna get you out of there, though. You're kinda too weak to be here right now. Oh, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I should not switch over to Wisteria, because he'll also get fucked. I'm gonna switch over to Miriam. Mm, I guess. Which one of you is scarier? So are these Pikachus? They're like Pikachu clones, yeah. But they have nothing to do with Pikachu. Yeah, every every game has like a Pokemon that kind of looks like a Pikachu, you know? But they are electric, they're like mice, um, but they were introduced in this game and then just forgotten. Yeah, they might as well okay. be a Pikachu. Oh shit, you just slapped them up. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> They're slapping each other for for uh, morale. <laughs> they clapped, okay, or high fived. It is unclear. <laughs> unclear. Like the Geico squirrels. You remember that commercial? The squirrel runs out in the middle of the road, and then the guy, <laughs> you know, crashes, and then they go and they dap each other up. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude, it's a classic. Have you ever been around a very angry squirrel? They uh, bark. no, I've been around a fucking angry raccoon, though. That The motherfuckers do Ooh. not play. I <laughs> I don't know about those. Every raccoon I've seen has just been, like, fat and lazy. Kind of like a panda. But, um, angry, angry squirrels, though, they, they, like, fucking bark at you. It's scary. Yeah, no, I would not... Uh, none of those wild woodland creatures, man. No, fuck that. Do you remember the caveman commercials? With Geico? The Geico caveman? Oh, that got a TV uh, show? Do, yeah, yeah. Do you it got a TV show. show. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, dude. It was bad. It was it terrible. Was bad. Yeah, it was very bad. It was like, because the commercial, like the, the first commercial was super funny. And it was like, man, that was really good. And then it just kind of took off. And it's like, people already got tired of the commercial before they even made the TV show, but they decided it would be a good, like, premise for a TV show, a bunch of cavemen living in 
like real time. Yeah, it was weird. It just something about it, and it was like an advertisement for car insurance as a yeah. TV show. It was weird. Yeah, I don't know. Something about that doesn't really rub me the right way. Like, ain't you know, right. It, it would it would be great for like a. 30 second clip but i can't imagine a full tv show behind it no yeah and really it only worked for one commercial because the rest of the commercials sucked like it was like you could see it coming from a mile away and it's not funny like you guys used your joke on that first commercial yeah you know and now you can't you, you can't make an entire show out of that joke everybody's gonna see it coming yeah that being said i would watch it again if i had access to it <laughs> Would you really? There was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it, you so wasn't there a TV Disney show about AK Man filled with the future? You know what? That sounds familiar. Alright, Miriam wants to learn Sand Attack. Well, there it's better go. than Growl. That was the poster for Caveman. Brilliant. <laughs> It's so weird. Oh, yeah, it's the pinnacle of television. Seriously. But it came like, out... Like, other... It came out a Go while ahead. ago, but already this poster, it it could come out today, and it would, it would work. It would still... Yeah, it looks relevant. This looked like it would be on after Modern Family. Dude, Modern Family, you want to talk about another fucking show that just, like, took a dip in quality? Yeah, Modern but even family. even at the end, I still laughed a little bit. I still had. Some I don't know, this. man. It just it was because like it just seemed so forced. I really don't like um, the Office since we're talking about forced TV shows. I'm not a fan of the Office. I get. I like, enjoy the Office. I get secondhand cringe the entire yeah. time. I hate the Sopranos and um, Seinfeld. So every, so and everybody, it's been fun. <laughs> and especially uh, old school Simpsons. Which season? Garbage. Uh, I I only gave the first season a chance, and I I just couldn't get through it. Like, I mean, maybe it's because I've also like been in those kinds of situations myself, but I just get secondhand cringe the entire time. Friends is trash. I agree. I think there's definitely some nostalgia just attached, or the idea of a show like Friends. Like, people feel like they missed the trend of it back then, and they just want to relive it. I don't know. I've had friends who were into Friends, but I didn't understand anything about it. I don't know. I also never gave it a chance, though. It's just a show made to be light, and... Yeah. It's fabricated. It's, like, uh, written by a bunch of people. Friends can be funny. So, in my in my opinion, the later Friends went on, the funnier it went on. At the very start of it, it was super preachy, kind of like How I Met Your Mother. Like I fucking hate that show. Yeah. Oh, Malcolm in the Middle though, dude. Now Malcolm you're... Mel never misses. Yeah, we actually yeah. just gave Malcolm in the Middle a, a half of the show a watch, like half of like the entire show. We we actually have to catch up on it, but um. It's good. It like it holds up now, especially. It's good. One of my favorite lines out of that shit is when Dewey is uh, <laughs> just talking about all these, you know. And then the Sasquatch came out of the woods, and then we had ice cream, and then we flew to the moon or whatever. And Reese is like, "That's stupid. Shut up." And Hal goes, "Now, Reese, if Dewey says that's what happened, that's what happened." He goes, "Well, nobody believes me when I beat Mortal Kombat." He said, well, yes. that's ridiculous. Nobody beats Sub-Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a point, though. It's I mean. so good. Yeah, Dewey's talking about the monster in the woods, which is uh, Francis, and he was Francis. crying. Yeah. <laughs> because that's ridiculous. <laughs> or when he's talking about insurance, he's like, I don't understand why I need insurance. The other guy has insurance. He'll be covered. Son, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You see... And then he realizes. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting sick of these fucking thunder waves. Uh... What was with the, the 
do we say the aunt had her face eaten by kittens or cats? Uh, cats eat her. Cats ate her face. Yeah, ask the like, uh, Dewey about it. He knows all about it. <laughs> he knows more than I do. <laughs> like he's he's he's, he's fucking. Um, Put dad on the phone. Dad, what happened? Cat's ate her face. <laughs> 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 yeah, fucking knock him in the middle is gold, dude. Never fucking misses. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Well, that as show I was saying hard about too. Friend, well, so, I mean, it reminds me of growing up, kind of. Yeah, that's Yeah, fun. exactly. That's, that's why I yeah. love it, too. Like, it totally reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. Um... It's kind of like, for me, like, classic Roseanne also kind of reminds me of growing oh, up. Oh, is that when she's uh, racist on Twitter or after? Oof. No, 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 that's after. That's, oh, that's... Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> we have fun here. Yeah, where do you go after that? In her defense, she was <laughs> high on some kind of sleeping medicine. You could just stop. I, for... <laughs> I forget what the hell it was called. Um, Ambient or something? Ambien, yeah, some stupid shit. The racist pill. No, but coming back to, um... Milk in the middle and friends. why it's great? Friends, uh... I do see wh why people fucking hate that show, and for the most part, I'm not a big fan of it. Because, like you said, it's, like, written to be fucking liked and shit like that. Um... And it's super. It can be kind of preachy and kind of cringy, but there's some stuff that uh, that fucking works in the later episodes, in my opinion. Like some stuff that it's just it's apart from the whole fucking. Oh well, we're the you know the people you should ask about how to handle relationships because we're you know whatever whatever that show is about. There's some stuff that's funny. Oh, something about coffee from that, shops or opinion. something. Yeah. No, because you're right. At, at the end of the day, the show is garbage, but there's some gems in there, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Did you ever watch Just Shoot Me? I did watch Just Shoot Me. I, I love that shit. I kind of fucking love that show. Yeah, fucking David Spade, dude. It, it's so... Uh, it's on uh, Hulu now, and it's it's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Is yeah, that, it's a the, good show. That's the show where the guy's, like, posing as a private investigator? No, 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 no. That's... No. What is uh, that? Just Shoot Me is uh, the fashion magazine. aren't they? It's oh, yeah, fashion yeah, magazine. Right, right. Cause the bald dude uh, takes pictures of all the women in lingerie. Oh. I showed you yep. a couple episodes. You probably did. He dates the uh, the owner's daughter, but it's like an on again off again relationship. Yeah, cause it's all about the owner's daughter. Okay. And cause she's trying yeah. to be like all feminist in a fashion magazine. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. She's like she's done with it. She doesn't. Uh, she doesn't approve of the magazine. But that shit's good and um. Fucking, what's the comedy with Michael J. Fox and the with the mayor? Oh, Spin City, dude. Yes, that shit. Yeah, Spin City. Well, before um, Charlie Sheen came on board. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, our grass type is currently at level twenty-three, so we're we're, oh, we're shit, in a dude. pretty good position, right? And Wisteria is almost at level twenty-eight himself. Herself. One le one um. One episode that I remember from Spin City is the uh, mayor. It was who's fucking Barry Bostwick, by the way. Yeah, but, yeah, um, fantastic. Oh, uh, outstanding. But um, the the mayor makes friends with like this really famous rapper, and so the rapper's leaving because he's got to go on tour or some shit. And um, <laughs> the mayor's like, "All right, take it easy, homo." <laughs> and the guy turns around, and he's like, "It's it's home me, Mr. Mayor." <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you know Barry Boswick, he's just like super nerdy and just yeah, like yeah. uptight. It's like a, he's like a Ted Danson. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's he's very much like he was Ted Danson before Ted Danson was cool. Yeah, dude, I fucking love Ted Danson. Um, but yeah, Ted Danson's the man. Yeah, that show was uh, done by uh, Bill Lawrence, who did Scrubs, and that's why, like, he gets everyone to do an episode of Scrubs, like everyone from that show, Spin City. Oh, good. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's how he got. That's why he got like Michael J. Fox. He got Barry on there, like a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna um, go I should, the trick house. Scrubs is a show that I feel like um, I need to give a, a look see. Also, 
I have your DVD copy of uh, Repo, or whatever it is oh, with the Reaper? devil. Yeah, Reaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a I show that's that I had that not it. great. <laughs> I still enjoyed it, though. Like, the premise of it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. For what it is, I, I had fun with it. Did you ever finish it? Uh, I don't think so. I think I watched a few more episodes, but then, you know, life got in the way. Life. Yeah. Life always gets in the way. Well, the oh, show got no. canceled, so it never gets finished. Yeah, they leave it off in a, in a cliffhanger, right? Uh, Scrubs, you mean the creators of Default Dancing? Yeah, I was talking about the other day how fucking crazy it is how no one understands that reference. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I That's the reason why I love that one song by Poison. Because of the fucking dance. Yeah, dude. Turk. You know what we're talking about, Charlie? I don't, but that's because I, I, I've only ever seen a few episodes of Scrubs. So, the, you know the... F there's like the default dance in Fortnite. Yeah. And it's like uh, it's the guy a dance just kind of like shuffles in place and then he like claps and then he does like the he poses with his like arms crossed. You ever see that dance? I might have. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. All right. Anyways, it's that whole dance is uh copied from an episode of Scrubs. And nobody knows. Where Turk, uh, the black friend. Uh, dances. I know who pantomimes yeah, I know. to that song. <laughs> I know who Turk is. <laughs> yeah. I know who Turk is. He's the guy from fucking Clueless. Yes, yes, he is. He's in that. Yeah, yeah he yeah. is. Yeah, that's his uh, claim to fame. Oh. Yes, dude. Scrubs is like uh, Scrubs is iconic. Are you going for another gym badge already? We, no, I'm uh, oh. doing the trick house. There's what's... an item at the end of it. I can't remember what, but it's probably good. What's the trick house? It's just um in the middle of this uh, town that we are leaving, and the next town, there's a little house, and it's got a bunch of, like, rooms in it that you could do all these, like, weird stuff. It's just a place to train and get money. This fucking cat again, though. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's a good, like, XP grindhouse. I used to always stay away from this house uh, when I used to play this game as a kid, because, like, you need HM slaves to get through it, and I just wouldn't really carry them except for, like, fly and surf. Do you want to explain the concept of a HM slave to Charlie? Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, c come here, that sit, sounds down, like some sit down for a moment. Shit. <laughs> Sit down, let me tell you a story. I don't like story. the sound of this. Let me tell you a story. Um, <laughs> kids these days, they don't they don't know this anymore, but back in the day, uh, Pokemon, <laughs> you you would have to use uh, certain Pokemon and replace their moves with permanent moves in order to use them on the field. And they were mandatory. Some of them were mandatory. So, like, if you wanted to cross a body of water, you had to teach a Pokemon Surf, but it stuck with that move. You could delete it later on, but you have to go, like, find a man who can do it. So, um, HM slaves were Pokemon that had the potential to learn multiple HM moves so that you can just use them whenever you were going exploring or whatever, you know? You get it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep, right. so, I get it. So, like, there's an HM called Cut, which he's been using to cut trees, and then there's one that pushes rocks. Those are two different okay. moves. So instead of having two different Pokemon that have to give up a slot where they can learn a dope ass attack, you just give it to one bitch Pokemon to just deal with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Some people spread them throughout their team. I I've been doing that now in my uh, old and wise years, but um, <laughs> back in the day, I was just too stupid and I would just give all my HMs to one Pokemon and then keep that Pokemon in the box unless I needed it. Well, that sounds a little bit more convenient, right? Yeah, it's convenient. But sometimes, some games have like seven or eight HMs, and you just gotta teach them to like half of your team. It, it, it's more like a uh, quality of life improvement or anything. Like, you're only gonna do the HM Slave if you know Pokemon and you're like replaying it. Yeah, the first time around, yeah. you're probably just gonna end up like teaching them to whoever. Oh shit, I gotta go down there and get that book from the child. The child. 
<laughs> He's Vigo. He's Vigo. I fucking love you so much, dude. <laughs> I'm no, so glad you got pictures. <laughs> the child. <laughs> I'm so great. glad you got that shit. Yeah, dude. Come on. I, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, I heard the worry in your voice when you did it. <laughs> that was fucking... It's Vigo. <laughs> <laughs> you are like the presence of flies to him. So this kid, he he's like, hey, I wandered into this house by accident, but he's the guardian of the fucking book that I need. So he's the boss. So which is it, kid? So the boss just uh, walked in here. I think Tony Danz is the boss. All right, get out. Get it? Charlie, Ted Danz. All right, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> Ted Danz is the boss around here. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how busy the screen is right now? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I didn't even notice this fucking dancing whatever the hell it is. That's a Torchic. We were talking about it. Chickens. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Chickens. <laughs> what are we even watching anymore? It's for everyone just to watch something. <laughs> yeah, there's something for everybody on the screen. I just want to thank everyone for being here. We're a parking. <laughs> Ween is playing the game right now. I'm hunting for shinies. Charlie's just humor. I'm us. learning. I'm learning. And uh, yeah, I want to say I think I bring the funny. Uh, we're hunting, I could be wrong. I guess, we're shy hunting for an Eevee. Um, if we hatch it, you guys can get it by following us. Check us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the links. Uh, Discord. You can type in uh, exclamation links, explanation, any social media you're wondering about. YouTube, it's all there. Um, you yeah. won't find us at Meet Cupid, though. Is it? What is it? <laughs> Singles meet. Any of those? <laughs> Tinder, <laughs> Tinder, Grinder. Yeah, Grinder. Well, you might find us on Grinder. I don't know. Ha ha ha. Grinder. Yeah, you don't know. You're asking me to fucking tell you what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> Why would you use the Ape Arcade name? <laughs> because we're famous. <laughs>